Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2020 Amazon Fire TV stick. Now they actually released two new versions, one for $29.99. It's basically the same thing, but the remote itself doesn't come with TV controls, so you can't control the volume on your main TV set. And they've also released this $40 version with the upgraded remote and TV controls built in. But both of these new Fire Stick devices are targeted at 1080p. These are not 4K capable. So if you already have the Fire Stick 4K, I would definitely stick with that because when it comes down to it, these new versions actually have the same exact CPU. And I was really hoping for an upgraded CPU and Amazon is claiming that these are 50% faster and they're correct in saying this, but it's not 50% faster than the Fire Stick 4K. They're actually comparing this to the older 1080p model. And when you compare it to that one, yes, this is a more powerful device. So inside of the box, you're obviously going to receive the Fire Stick itself. You also get that Alexa enabled remote with the TV controls built in as long as you pick up the $40 version. We have batteries for the remote power supply, USB cable, and an HDMI extender. So like I mentioned, this has the same CPU as the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. It's the MediaTek 8695D. It's a quad-core CPU at 1.7 GHz. The GPU is the GE8300. It does not support Vulkan, but it will do OpenGL ES 3.2. 1 gig of DDR4 RAM, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 802.11abgn AC 2x2 memo Wi-Fi, which is really great for these devices. We also have Bluetooth 5.0, and it does support HDR10, HDR10+, HLG, Dolby Atmos with 8 channels, and AC3 at 6 channels. And this new Fire Stick out of the box is running Fire OS 7, which is based on Android 9. So the very first thing I wanted to do when I set this up was connect a Bluetooth controller. I just wanted to make sure it still worked with this new version. And yes, if you have an Xbox One controller with Bluetooth built in, you can connect it to the Fire Stick and it actually works out quite well. And by the way, these new Fire Sticks are running Fire OS 7. This is actually based on Android 9 instead of the old Android 7 versions. And overall, the user interface is very snappy. You can install basically any kind of media streaming app that you can think of. They're all on the Amazon Fire Store. I have everything that I personally use already installed here. Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO, Hulu, YouTube, and Plex. So let's go ahead and jump right into some testing. I want to see how well this handles 1080p playback. I got a good feeling it's going to work pretty well, but the first thing we're going to test here is YouTube playback. We have the official YouTube app from the Amazon Fire Store. We're going to go with Big Buck Bunny. This is the 4K version, but it doesn't put out 4K, so we're only going to be running this at 1080p. So I do have stats for nerds on, and as you can see on the initial load-in, we did have 8 drop frames, but it's sitting pretty steady. I had a good feeling that it was going to handle 1080p playback from YouTube quite well, because that's what this thing was designed for. And with that built-in 2x2 AC Wi-Fi, as long as you have a good internet connection, you really shouldn't have any trouble buffering anything out, especially at 720 and 1080p. Yeah, I mean, everything loads up really fast, and we're getting super smooth 1080p 60fps playback from the YouTube app. And I have gone through and tested out Hulu, Disney+, and Netflix. Getting the same performance here. Everything loads up fast. We have the built-in apps that we can get from the App Store. It works just fine, especially with a good internet connection. But one thing I haven't tested out so far is Plex, so we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. I do have some demo videos that I wanted to check out. Unfortunately, they're all in 4K, but it's going to be playing them at 1080p. One of my good buddies has a Plex server set up, and that's what I'm going to be streaming from. He set these videos up here so I could test them on different devices. They're all 4K, but they're all different frame rates and bit rates. So the first one we're going to go with is 4K, 30fps, 28 megabits per second. Now keep in mind, this will not be displayed at 4K. You can't get 4K content on here, but we can do 1080p. And I'm actually pretty surprised at how fast that buffered out. It's a pretty short video, but we're getting good playback here. In the past, I've tested this on different single board computers, and I've always run into some jitters here and there, but this is really smooth. Next up, we have another 4K video, 30 FPS, but this is actually 80 megabits per second. And this is one of those videos that's given me a lot of trouble in the past on different ARM-based devices. It's definitely taken a little longer to buffer, but I think it's going to do it. And yeah, it's pretty smooth. It just took a lot longer to buffer than the last one because we're at 80 megabits per second instead of 28. 
And the final one I wanted to test, 4K, 60 FPS, 75 megabits per second. Oh yeah, it's looking really good here. So if you're interested in picking one of these up for Plex streaming, it will work out. So gaming on these fire sticks can be really hit or miss. With the higher end 3D stuff, it's just not going to work out too well, but I still wanted to test one 3D game that they have on the market. That's going to be Asphalt 8. And with this one here, I will be using a physical controller. This is actually the new Moga XP5. It acts like a Bluetooth Xbox controller. So yeah, there's not many 3D games available for the Fire Stick on their app store at least. I mean, you could sideload some, but as you can see, this is one of the big reasons there's not a lot available. It's very laggy here, and this is actually a pretty optimized game. It's been out for a while, and it does work really well on lower-end Android tablets, but here, we just got that really bad lag, and in my opinion, it's pretty unplayable. So I'm going to go with something a little easier to run, but first up, if we take a look at this app store, there's not a lot going on. There's not a ton of games for the Amazon Fire Stick, and it really comes down to the performance you'll be getting out of this thing with harder to run 3D games. Now if you want to do stuff like Crossy Road or Flappy Bird, it'll work just fine. But one of my favorites for these Fire devices is the Sega Collection. It's got 25 awesome Sega games built in, and they've kind of optimized this to use the Fire Remote as your controller. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this method but it's there if you don't have an extra controller that you can connect to the Fire Stick. So first up, we have Gunstar Heroes. I'm using my Bluetooth controller, I'm not using the Amazon remote, and everything's working out just fine. I've had really good luck with this collection on basically every Amazon device that I've tested it on, and this one's no different. And here's Sonic 2, and performance with this one is no different from Gunstar Heroes. I'm getting full speed, graphics look great, so there are games that the Amazon Fire Stick can run just fine. But you really don't buy one of these specifically for gaming. This is a media consumption device, mainly video and audio. So now I want to test a little bit of emulation, but before we get into that, I do want to mention that I'm actually having issues installing some apps. I wanted to test some standalone emulators like MooPen64 Plus FZ, xCloud, but unfortunately, it just will not let me launch them. Every time I start it up, it says this app is installed incorrectly and you must uninstall it. I've tried everything to get them working and the only thing I could really get working here was RetroArch. But that's totally fine because we have a ton of different emulators that we can use in here. So first up, I'm gonna test out a PS1 game, then we'll move over to N64. So here we have Tekken 3 using RetroArch with the PC SX Rearm Core. I've had really good luck on these Fire devices with PlayStation 1 emulation. As you can see up in the top right hand corner, we are running at 60 FPS. Well, now when it comes to emulation on a device like this, it really does struggle with PSP and Dreamcast, but as you can see, PlayStation 1 is playable, and to my surprise, it actually handles N64 quite well, at least for some of the easier to run games. Here's Diddy Kong Racing, I'm using RetroArch with the Parallel Core, and it's running really good. So overall, the new Fire TV stick performs really well with 720p and 1080p video playback, and that's really what it was designed for. We also have a lot of great audio apps that you can download, like Pandora and things like that, so if you do have a decent sound system, this will work with it quite well because we do have Dolby Atmos built in. When it comes to gaming on a device like this, it was never designed specifically for gaming, but there are some easier to run games that you can get away with running just fine, but don't expect it to run a lot of the 3D stuff very well. And as for emulation, basically anything under the PS1 is going to run just fine on this device. If you want to do some Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, SNES, PC Engine, NES. So is it worth picking one of these up? Personally, I think it is if you have an older version of the Fire Stick. If you're still using the older 1080p version, definitely worth the upgrade. But if you're on the 4K Fire Stick right now, there's no reason to upgrade whatsoever. This won't even support 4K, but for those who don't have a 4K TV... I think this would be an awesome option. 
So if you're interested in picking one of these up, I will leave a link to Amazon in the description. This one that you saw in this video is the one with the TV controls built in. It retails for $39.99, but you can pick up the other one which will perform exactly the same, minus the built-in TV controls on the remote for $29.99. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on the Fire Stick, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.